also with you. Thank you. I have a new greeting today. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. And you say, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, okay, let's try that, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Very nice. Very nice. Well, today is Palm Sunday. It is the last Sunday in Lent, and it is the first day of Holy Week. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. We made some palm branches since it's Palm Sunday. Okay, and we have some palm branches here. Everybody take your palm branch. Mine has my name on the back. Okay. If you didn't get to make a palm branch yet, you can look on our website and find instructions for how to make a palm branch, okay? Very nice, for Palm Sunday. And we're gonna find out why these are so important. For now, can you do this, kids? Can you put it in your lap? Oh, yeah. Can you? We'll find out, okay? I want to direct your attention to the candles. They are all lit, but... I know how to turn this... Okay. Let me just put this one up here. Okay, it's thank dead. you. Um, all the candles are lit. And we need to put out all but one. Okay? So, each of you do two. And then I'll do one more. And that'll just leave one candle left. One little candle. One little candle. Here, Mom. Thank you. Can you leave the one... In the very middle, burning? Yeah, right there. There we go. Put all the rest back in. They all have burned out. They all have been put out as we think ahead to what's going to happen to Jesus. But then, Easter's coming. I know so, what happened. Yes, we know. We know how the story ends. So it's good. Hey. Okay? Let's open with a prayer. Give me okay? Yours is, that's his. Okay? Yours is right here. Okay? Let's all put our palm branches right here until, while we pray. Okay? I'll put them upside down so you okay. can see my name. That's fine. Not on the candle though. Right there. Okay? That's fine. I know, what, I know which is yours. I know which is yours. Let's say a prayer. Let's say a prayer. After each line, you get to say, we thank you, God. Can you do that? Yep. Say, we, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. Thank you, God. Here's our prayer. With us at home, open up in prayer for our lesson today. We thank you, God. For this day, we, we thank, thank you, God, God, for sending Jesus to us to we, show us how to we, live. We, we thank, we you, thank God. you, God. We, for your word to us, we, we, we thank, thank you, God. God. Thank you, God. Amen. Okay. The first picture that I have to show today is this picture. Yeah. What can you tell me it's a, it's about a, this picture? It's a statue of, of a king on a horse pointing like a staff at someone. Yeah, like he's riding into battle or something, okay? Or riding, um, yeah, he's a king and he's riding into someplace very important, okay? Today, we are going to learn about a king who came to his city, but it wasn't quite like that, was it? Not at all. Not at all like that, okay? Our story is a little bit different, okay? This story comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 21, okay? Go ahead, kids, and get your palm branch. That's mine. Okay, that one's yours. And if you're doing this at home, would you like to use that one? Okay. If you're doing this at home, get your palm branch ready. Okay? There is... There, have you ever played the game Secret Word? Okay? Secret Word is a game where every time I say a certain word, or word of the day, some people call it word of the day, okay? You shake your palm branch. The word of the day is Hosanna. Good job. I'll get one too. Okay? So every time you hear me say, Hosada, okay? Shake your palm branch. You ready? Here 
is our story today. The donkey was waiting for them. Look, said Jesus' disciples, this must be the donkey we are looking for. Jesus had sent two of his friends to a village to find a particular donkey. Now they had found it. The disciples untied the animal and brought it back to Jesus. They laid some clothes over its back. How did the disciples know it was the right donkey? Mm, maybe Jesus had told some other things about them. Yeah, them. I think so. Had given them some clues. Jesus climbed onto the donkey and started down the road to Beth Jerusalem. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop went the donkey's hooves. Jesus' friends walked behind him. As Jesus rode closer to Jerusalem, a crowd began to gather. As he got closer and closer to the city gate, more people joined them. You can see in the picture, this is the gate to the city. In those days, there was a big wall around the capital city to keep the bad armies out. And so as he's riding into the city, the gates are open. They're not worried about a bad army today. The gates are open. There's people in the city walls looking, and more and more crowds of people are wondering, who is this guy? They're wondering what they would think when they saw Jesus. There were mothers and fathers and girls and boys, grandmothers and grandfathers who were there. Remember reading about the prophet Zechariah. Okay? He had written that one day, a humble king would come who would ride on a donkey. Zechariah had predicted that this would happen way back, more than 4,000 4, years ago, 400 yeah. years ago, more than 400 years ago, a long time, okay? When they saw Jesus, they remembered Zechariah's words. Jesus is coming, some of them yelled. Look, he's on a donkey, others cried. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hooray for Jesus! They shouted. Soon, lots of people were following Jesus. Some people spread their coats out on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and laid them down to make a path for the donkey to walk on. I wonder why the people were so glad to see Jesus. Because they knew he was going to free them. Ah, crowds ran ahead. Crowds marched behind. It was quite a parade. Have you ever seen a parade? Yeah. yeah. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hooray for Jesus! The people shouted again and again. When Jesus came in through the gate, the whole city could hear the crowd shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! Hooray for Jesus! What's going on? Who is this man? Some people asked. It's Jesus, the crowd replied. Hosanna! Hosanna! When Jesus rode up to the temple, the crowd followed him. Word of wisdom, word of grace, thanks be to God. All right. And that is our story today, kids. What do you think Hosanna means? Like... Hooray? It could. What else? Because they both start with H. Yeah. What do you think Hosanna means, Colin? Um. Um. I need to glue mine. That's okay. Too much waving. I need to glue mine. Okay. Do you want to know what Hosanna means? It might surprise you. It means help us or save us. Oh. Yeah. We weren't really thinking it that way, were we? Help us or save us when we sing Hosanna. Okay. That's what they were shouting. Like Jesus was the king. Help us, king. Save us. Okay. It was also. Because they knew he was going to like free them. Yes. Okay. It's also an expression of joy. Okay. Who were they joyful for? 
Jesus. Jesus. Yes, for sure. They were joyful for Jesus. All right. All right. Let's see. Kids, I'm going to post some activities on our website that you can do at home. One of those activities is this paper that you can print out at home. It has the little, it's like a little book. You can color the pictures and then you can cut out on the dotted lines and put the pages in order. You're going to need some help because this is not the whole story that I read today. The story I read today is just one page. On Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and people people laid coats and palm branches to prepare the path. Okay? The story. That's the first one. And there is one page for every day this week until we get to Easter Sunday. One page for every day of Holy Week. Okay? You can do this all week as we get ready. Okay? Today, the story is very exciting. Hosanna! Jesus is coming. As the story progresses, it gets much more serious. We remember as we light the candles, not everybody was happy about Jesus. Some people were worried or concerned about Jesus. And so the story gets very serious as we go along. Okay? Later this week, I'm going to post more videos as we continue to talk about Holy Week and what this means. Okay? Let's finish today with a prayer, and then we will end, okay? Kids, will you calm yourselves down and pray with me? Dear God, thank you for this story. Thank you for the story. Thank you that Jesus came into Jerusalem in a humble way. Thank you that Jesus came into in a, in a humble, humble way. way. Help us learn this week what this story is all about. Help us learn this week what, what this, this story, story is all about. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Very good. Children, Luke, you are a child of God. Amen. Colin, you are a child of God. Kids, you are children of God. Go in peace. Bye.